Jared Rose for the Thomas McEwen and NOLA.com at Denham Springs High School with Kayla Barati, uh, junior defensive end now for, uh, for the Yellow Jackets. Uh, so just finished up the junior year, easing into the spring semester, which starts next week for you guys. Yep. Um, and you're getting some, some big colleges talking to you about maybe coming to play some football at that level. Um, how has the recruiting process gone overall? We were just talking about that this yeah. was kind of a breakout season for you. Uh, so far, it's just it's all hectic. It's all just, you know, just coming on to me. It started, it started off slow and then it's just starting to pile on. Right as the season ended, everybody just started contacting me. It's just getting crazy, but I love it, honestly. I like, the, I like the attention and I really hope I can go do something with my football career. Your junior year, what, what were you so pleased with? I had a chance to see you guys a couple times and from my perspective, you were one of those guys that I kept using the word disruptive. You seemed like you were in the backfield. With, I mean, the, at the snap so at times. Um, mm -hmm. What worked out so well for you this year to have that type of a, a season, you felt like? I felt I just, we just put in, real, I put in a lot of work during the summer, knowing that I was switching positions and I needed to get in shape for a defensive line because I was, I started getting out of shape. I, I almost looked like an offensive lineman. So I just, I just, I just took it upon myself to like, you're going to be a leader on the defense because we lost so many seniors last year. And I was the only one, like, every, people look up to me. So I just took it upon myself to say, you know, get the job done, do as best as you can, and let's see how deep we can go in the playoffs. We made a second round, got knocked out by Zachary, but that's all right. Um, what, was the, what was the first college that, uh, what was, I guess, what was the first college that you, that you really started to hear a lot from? I remember it was after the Woodlawn game, the very first game of the season. The first letter I ever got was from Utah, and they've been sending me letters ever since, like consistently. I used to get like four and five every Saturday morning, just constantly. Probably Utah would be that. And then the offers you have right now are Louisiana Tech and Arizona, and Arizona State. Yeah, when, Arizona did, State. when did those come? Arizona they didn't come until after the season. Um, actually, my recruiting coach called me one day. I was just having a normal day playing Xbox. He called me. He's like, I have great news. I'm, what is it? And he said, I got you an offer from Arizona State out of the blue. They had, hadn't talked to me prior, and then ever since then they've been sending me letters, fan mail, all kind of stuff. It was pretty cool. And then LA Tech came up here and saw me finals week, which was uh, I want to say like Wednesday before the break, and they offered me verbally. Yeah, it was pretty great. Um, what have been the th have they given you those two schools, or, or maybe any of the other schools that have? have talked to you quite a bit, a, a sense of what they, they liked so much about you that kind of caught their eye? Yeah, most most schools say they like, like my speed off the ball. They like how I'm just like, a, I'm disruptive, like you said. I just think, like, one thing they don't like is my pad level. I know I get, I stand up too tall, I'm used, but I, that just takes work. But they really like my speed off the edge and just my strength on the run stopping. Um, and some of these other schools, um, that have they haven't offered yet, but you've had a chance to talk to a lot that mm -hmm. that you've seen some interest in uh, or interest from. Who have been some of those schools, and, and you know, how do you feel about just moving forward and, and what you need to do to maybe turn some of those in the offers? Uh, a few schools. I've been getting a few, a lot of SEC interest lately. Uh, Ole Miss, Mississippi State, Tennessee, and a little bit of Missouri and Arkansas. I think. Uh, I, I'm going to a rivals camp and a Nike training camp this, this off season, so that might help with the recruiting process a lot. And I think just just development. Once I develop into a better player, they'll probably start offering me soon. It just takes time, work, hard work. Are there any things that you're really looking at right now? Obviously, with you being a junior, um, you still have a bunch of time. You're not a guy that's looking to try and make a decision in the next month necessarily. No, no, no. Um, what are some of the things you're looking at when you start hearing from some of these schools and then as you have a chance to start visiting more of them? First thing I look at is, well, I want to I want to major in business management, so I find a school find a school that would best suit me for that. And the next thing I look at is like like the community. Well, I, well, I like going there for 4 years, you know. I don't want to go somewhere I'm going to hate. And then I look at the athletic program, see if cuz I might love I might love the city, but if I'm not going to get decent exposure or anything, it's just going to be a, it's going to be bad for me. Do you have, being as it's this early in the process, any kind of mindset of you'd like to figure it out by the end of the summer before senior season starts or you don't mind waiting or anything like that or it's just kind of taken as it comes at this point? Just take it as it comes, really. I don't, I'm, I, I don't know when I'm going to commit, honestly. It was just, I don't, I don't really have a top, I have 
I have like a top five, but it's not like it could easily change. Really, I don't. Yeah. I don't know who I want to go to just yet. Yeah, it's all. It's too early. You know, it just really started. Yeah, especially with with a lot of it not coming until, until yeah. this year. Yeah, it's like the last few few months, actually, past two months, everything's just been it's been hectic. Yeah, you mentioned. I was about to say you mentioned it being hectic. Yeah. Has it been Has it been pretty fun to start hearing from yeah. some of these folks? Yeah, I, I love it. Honestly, it's just it's overwhelming. Really, like I just. It's been my dream, really, ever since I was a kid. I wanted to play college football, and now it's finally becoming a reality to me. And it's just, it's pretty great. It's a great feeling, really. There you go. Caleb Roddy, junior defensive lineman for the Denim Springs Yellow Jackets. Uh, Jared Rose for the Times Picayune,